you said you could do with some company. Yeah, no, it's lovely. I just I sort of meant this evening. Besides, it looks like you've already started. <laughs> yeah. I thought we could uh, celebrate me being a single man. I heard you and Priya arguing. It's only a, a door that separates the salon. If any of that was down to me telling you to go for uh, it. It was all me. It was all my fault. I'm a bad, bad person. Will you join me? Yeah, sure. Why not? I had Diane trying to get me and Robert back together earlier. Oh, you're not going to. I would rather stay on the shelf forever than get back with him. You won't be there for long. A strong woman like you. Me? I don't think so. So, what are you then? Diane said I'm a little bit lost. I'm starting to think she might be right. <sighs> there are better men out there. Yeah, I know. It's just there was a moment yesterday when I forgot how much I hate him. How nice it would be not to be alone. You're not alone now. Remember your first car, that battered old red one? How could I forget? Some good memories in that old banger. <laughs> it's before we could afford a room. Tell me about it. Let's say that we did go to a hotel. What would I tell Aaron? That you met a mate and you stayed at us. Being a good parent is all about tactical lies to your kids. Let's do it. You found us a place, I'll text Aaron. What can I get you? Uh, Americano to go, please, Bob. Here to serve? Yes, Aaron. So you come in. Did you fancy a pint? Why, well, you all right? Well, I was about to ask you the same thing, man. You got done in? No, I'm, um, I'm good. But then again, it's not me having to watch Johnny be pushed around all the places, is it? Yeah, well, I don't really think about it. Yeah, you do, Adam. But why don't you go over to the pub, we'll have a pint, yeah? All right, cool. Hey, can I get you a drink? I was just going to go meet Adam for a pint. Right. Well, the truth is, I could do something a bit stronger. I found out it was Pearl that dropped the clan with the social worker. Really? Yeah. She told her about Rona and Vanessa. Rona's not the one cheating now. No, but I thought it was Tess. And after what you told me yesterday and all the stuff with Pearl, it's just getting a bit much. Well, you know what they say, you made your bed, you better lie in it. 165 tap. I don't need it now, actually. Sorry, Bob. Paddy, Americano? Listen, I know you're not happy about it. You just want me to keep your little secret. Hang on. I was there for you and I didn't approve of things, so, yeah. Well, maybe you're a better person than I am. Do you know what? Forget it. Why? Do you know how selfish you are? It wasn't Pearl, it was me. I went back and I told that social worker straight. You don't deserve it, kid. Your marriage isn't worth the paper it's written on. I think it's over, do you? Oh, she made it pretty clear we are. She kept the DNA results a secret, even though she didn't agree. I thought I was doing the right thing. No, 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 I, I get it. You were protecting Kieran. Honestly, the things that I have done for Lachlan... Well, he's your kid. What else are you going to do? And Kieran will understand in time. The more he gets used to being a parent, he'll soon learn. I'd do it again, you know. Yeah, well, it was high risk and it blew up in your face. Big time. The point is... Priya, keeping your secret sounds like a woman committed to making things work. What if I don't want them to? Well, then you're an idiot. You see, me, me and Robert, we are a rotting corpse of a marriage, but I know the difference. Maybe I don't deserve her. What if it's that? I'm not good enough for her, like Robert's not good enough for you. More wine? What are we doing here? Maybe what we should have done last time. I don't think so. Why? You're telling me you don't want to? No, I'm telling you that you don't want to. You are drunk and you are still in love with Priya. We're over. No, you're not. You will thank me for this in the morning. 